This is a compound inequality of the AND type. Because we want two things, both things to be true. We want this expression in the middle to be greater than or equal to 1 and to be less than 3. We can solve both inequalities with one set of steps. It helps to multiply both sides by 2 to clear the denominators. Then we'll have negative 2 less than or equal 3x plus 4 less than 6. Okay. Then we carry on isolating x. The steps are pretty straightforward. You only have to keep in mind not uh, to change the direction of the inequality symbol if we choose to multiply all sides by a negative number. We haven't done that. So let's subtract 4 from both sides, from all sides. Now we get negative 4, negative 4, negative 4. Now we give us negative 6 less equal 3x plus than 2. Now divide both sides by 3. So we'll have negative 2 less equal x less than 2 thirds. We're done solving. We have to write the solution using interval notation. It helps to graph it. All right, there's 2 somewhere, negative 2. Somewhere here is 2 thirds. And just for reference, the 0 is somewhere here. We can put 0 here for reference. All right, somewhere here. Okay, so now we want all the numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 2, but less than 2 thirds. So we'll write negative 2, comma, 2 thirds. And that's that.